Hey Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. Today we're going to be cleaning something that never gets attention in the house. These are the covers for your lights. You may have these covers in your kitchen, in your restroom. You may even have these covers outside of your door. These covers accumulate so many different bugs in the inside. It gets like garbage and dirt. These be so dirty and guess what these protect? Your light bulb. Imagine having a cover that's supposed to cover your light bulb and it's dirty. Um, I'm not going to say that's the reason why the light bulbs go out because the light bulbs go out regardless. But I just always say, hey, have these things clean just to have these things clean. Like I said, when I first cleaned these out, it was so many flies and bugs in here. And you'll be asking yourself, how do bugs even get in here? As you can see, there's no way in, especially after you hang this up. There is like a little silver part um, where you put your light bulb in. I'm not sure where the bugs come from, but we know these do accumulate bugs. So this is my um, dining or this is my kitchen light. And then this is my dining room light. As you can see, my hands are already dry. And so this is why we like to clean with our yellow gloves. So get you some gloves, whether you have dry, sensitive skin or not. Be sure to use the gloves for what you use the gloves for. Like if it's for the kitchen, it's for the kitchen. If it's for the trash can, it's for the trash can. If it's for the restroom, it's for the restroom. If you have a set of gloves for the toilet, just use that for the toilet. Do not cross contaminate with these gloves. When you are done with these gloves, it's whatever your preference is to make sure they're clean and let them air dry. You'll also need a cleaning towel. I'm going to use some soap today and I never had this before but a good thing to use in doing this is vinegar. Vinegar, the all-purpose vinegar, it does help to, you know, get rid of the bugs and things like that. Bugs do not like the smell of vinegar. We don't even like the smell of vinegar. My cell phone light died. That's okay. So we don't even like the smell of vinegar sometimes. So imagine a bug running up on it. It's like, like we about to get in there. Yeah, we about to turn up in here real quick while we can because it is isolated. This is why after so long they die because there's not any room to breathe in here. So imagine that bug saying, yeah, we got this new crib. We about to pull up and start moving stuff in. And then they smell that vinegar and they like, no, nah, bro, I think we need to find somewhere else to live. So today we're going to be cleaning with the soap. I'm a little heavy handed. You don't have to put that much soap because it is going to bubble up. And then also, if you have a scrub pad, I won't be using this because this is for my dishes. But if you have a scrub pad, you can use it. I don't need a scrub pad. If I do need one, then I can grab one. Um, as you can see, I like to clean these once a year. There's not really anything in here, but I see that there is dirt around this one here. So if I need the scrub pad, I'll go ahead and grab a new one. If not, then we're good to go. I do recommend cleaning these at least once a year. Not even at least. That's just one time a year and you'll have them clean. You don't have to worry about these getting dirty at all. It's glass. We know glass is not like plastic. So we know that the glass will stay clean and this is a good preservative to have over a light bulb. So, also, we always speak about using cold water. Cold water kills bacteria. Cold water kills germs and any other type of yeast that might live in warm climates. You putting this back on your light, that's going to be a very, very warm climate. That's another reason why bugs may come and dirt attracts to warm climate. The thing about cold water that I learned was cold water is cold water. It's going to kill the bacteria. Hot water is hot water. A lot of the times when we have disease like in our body, mold around the sink remember i showed y'all that little like black stuff that be right here a lot of the times when this stuff accumulate it is because of warm temperatures so just like your body if you have an overgrowth of um, overgrowth of yeast in your body that's because you're not eating right something is going off the ph is thrown off and then inside of your body is warm so now there's different yeast and bacteria so we always recommend to clean in cold water period just like if you're cleaning your body or your genitals, the way we rid those smells is by clean water. Y'all gonna be like, I thought we was here to clean something else. Honey, we get into it when we have to get into it. That's the reason of cleaning with cold water. We got vinegar on top of cold water. There's not gonna be anywhere for these bugs to live even when the hot light bulb gets here because we have our protective coat and we also have something else to protect them from saying, we ain't about to turn up over there, it's stained. 
So, we're going to start with cold water only. And you're just going to wash it. Just like you'll wash a dish. If you have lines like I do with mines, you do want to make sure that those are clean. Um, I looked at mine, mines are clean. If not, then you can go ahead and get a scrub pad. Also, make sure that you clean the circle part here and on the other side as well. Because this may be how they get in. I'm not sure how bugs get in here because it's still isolated when I put everything back together. But we know they live in here, so we're just going to make sure that everything is clean here. I didn't need a scrub pad. It did clean around there quite amazing. Now for the vinegar. I'm just going to pour some vinegar. Try and just do a little bit and just rinse them back off. So I did just a little bit of vinegar because it is strong. Just going to wash those back off and just let them sit. I'll dry that towel off. And don't forget the little pieces. So, got little pieces that goes on there. Those need to be clean too. As you can see, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, mine's is just a little rusted like that.
for those, I'm just going to rinse those off. If you have some fixtures up and they're really old and it doesn't make any sense to clean them, you can always buy light covers from Amazon and just look at your light. Just look at the measurements of them. Um, you can get like a universal one. A lot of the times the light fixtures, depending on the circumference of your home, you may be able to just get a universal light cover that can fit anywhere. I've looked on Amazon. There is some really nice light fixtures on there that doesn't have to do a lot of work at all. You put it on how you put this one on. You twist it, take it off. It looks like you're in a mansion. So if you prefer not to clean yours because it may have been up for a few years and it looks disgusting, then you can just go ahead and throw that away and buy a new one. Or if you're just interested in doing a home upgrade, you can get on Amazon. You can do it yourself and... It's going to be really, really easy. It's fun. You don't have to pay nobody to do this. You can if you want to, but here we're learning how to be independent. We're learning how to do things and fix things ourselves, and that's exactly why I am maintenance love. <laughs> so as you can see here, there's two different ways to dry these back. You can air dry them, or you can go ahead and get some paper towel and dry them. Keep in mind that this is going over your light, so if you're going to dry it, you have to make sure it's completely dry. I'm probably going to have to dry over it twice because I can't use the same damp paper towel thinking it's going to be dry and then put it back over a hot light bulb. I don't have time to air dry it today, so I am going to dry it off. And like I said, I am going to need more paper towel. It's your preference to you. I would say use paper towel. When you use a towel, the towel is just going to be like wiping the water back inside. So I was going to say it's your preference a towel or paper towel, but just use the paper towel. And actually... I'm gonna take the gloves off because those just may be spreading water around. You don't want to spread the water. Whoops. You're gonna put that, I'm just dropping stuff. If you're gonna put that back on the light, it has to be dry. And I'm still gonna let it sit off for like five minutes just to make sure. This just gave me a head start. So, especially with this, me not being able to see through them lines, let this sit off for five minutes. I'm going to show you what my fixtures look like. At this time, I will not be able to show you how I clean them, but I can give you a little hint and tip because this is not the only part of the light that gets dirty. So, again, we're going to let these dry for five minutes. I usually like to let these dry while I'm working on the other parts of the light. Like something like this, you're not going to know if that's all the way dry. So, you might as well just dry it out yourself and then let it sit to air dry this one i'm gonna leave up so it can air dry out okay let me show you what the lights look like i'm going to give you some tips and then show you how you can clean your around your lights i have a ceiling fan imagine having this fan and this is where your dining room is so you are eating here all the time you have your guests eating here all the time and because this is in a home, because different things happen, those ceiling fans accumulate a ton of dirt. They do, I've been up there and it's absolutely ridiculous how much dirt that they accumulate. It doesn't matter where you live, how big the space is, or how small the space is. When you have different appliances, it is a good thing to clean them on the regular because just dirt accumulates in general, like, that's just what it does it's dirt so on the ceiling fan there is a lot of different features like you have the fans you also have the little parts that hold the fan together i recommend not to clean anywhere around the bulb i have not cleaned the little uh the little latches that turn the light or the fan on i've never cleaned them now that i say that today i might just go ahead and like take a paper towel look you know just right there where you see like that brown piece hanging where the um the little fixture parts are where you get to pull them down and clean them i'm, I'm sorry where you clean where you turn the fan on and you turn the light on that I'll just say to clean the little handle piece. You don't have to clean that whole thing. You don't clean nothing around the light, light bulb in general. There is different um, wires there. You don't want to do that. And you don't want to go up there with a wet towel either. You want to take a damp towel up there with some soap. Or you can just do vinegar. Something just to kill the dirt. 
and then you want to make sure that's dry as well when i'm done i do turn the fan on maybe or i probably don't and let it air dry after i'm done then i'll go ahead and put my light bulb back up and it's done um this is something that you have to do safely if you have a ladder if you're using a chair, do not use a rolling chair. Use a regular chair that is safe. If you have carpet, that's even better. If you don't have carpet, use a ladder if you have a ladder or a chair that has something to protect you, especially if you're alone and you don't have a spotter. You don't have someone that's around to be able to show you or help you to make sure that you're good or pass you different things. Me doing this myself, I like to use my chair, then my table. I'll put my bowl of water or whatever it is I'm using there. Like I said, even with that bowl of water, it's not super damp. It is just, I moisten my towel a little bit, get up there. You want to clean the top part, like this outside of where you can see the fans, and then also the top of the fan. So you want to turn the fan off, and then you want to clean the top and then this bottom piece where people can see another reason why i think the dirt accumulates is because the fan is going so it just picks up different stuff in the air we know that air has dirt in it and so that's another reason why i think the dirt accumulates um there could be thousands of reasons why dirt gets on that fan but we just want to make sure that that's clean one time a year and it will stay clean and you don't have to worry about eating you know lasagna or some steak or you know maybe a nice salad and then girl where that dirt come from like is it clean in here it's clean in here things like this accumulate dirt so i say you could do this once a year or twice a year i do it once a year sometimes if i'm feeling all right i might do it twice a year but once a year is good to clean that fan this one here is just my kitchen light um as you can see i can put two lights in there i could just do one light um i'm gonna see if i got another light to put in there but if not it's fine if you do have like a fixture that requires two light bulbs put the two light bulbs in there if not it's okay if you have one you just have one but it just brightens up the kitchen even more and then with you having that glass cover on there you'll be able to have more light because that cover it does dims the light so as you can see there's not anything to clean here at all um it has that silver plating on there i i don't even touch around this at all when i put my light back up i might go around the gold with like a, a damp i'm not even damp it's almost it's close to dry towel or paper towel and just go around that gold part but other than that i do not do that at all a light fixture like this you just want to leave that the way it is just clean the light cover put the light cover back on first and then if you do have like a little gold rimming like i do then you can go ahead and clean that rim with something that's close to being dry like i said earlier some fixtures you're able to change if you wanted to replace like a fixture like this and maybe get like a black fixture or something like that then i would recommend to call a maintenance man or someone that you can trust to come in and change that out because as you can see it does have different wires and stuff like that some stuff you can fix by yourself and some stuff you do need a professional because the last thing you want to do is to injure yourself or anything else or anybody else around you so something like this i will not attempt to change myself because i don't know where the gold is connected i don't know how to get that down without you know taking anything off it's something that i will not attempt at all if you have a fixture that's really simple and it's not a covering like that that's connected to the wall go ahead if it's something that looks like this do not do that don't do it Get you a nice fixture that you want from Amazon and call somebody. Hey, how you doing? I was wondering if you can come change this fixture in my house because I just want to do a little upgrade. Don't do this yourself. But Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men, I recommend you to change your, wash out your coverings once a year. If you can, wash around your light after <laughs> you put the covering back on. Or if you do have a fan, hey we up closer now if you do have a fan you know clean the fan also as you can see since we're up a little closer there's just things you won't clean like up there where those holes are i don't mess with it just i literally just do the fan part that's it these were the little things i'm talking about i still probably will not clean that it's just doing too much i don't think they're dirty or anything like that if you did want to touch this part only this part when you are done literally just it ain't even done like that just take the towel that's it we done but you don't have to worry about that all of this is off the only thing you're going to clean on this fan is that period just the just the uh what are they called look they're going just the blades of that fan and make sure the fan is turned off 
guess what? Alexis loves you. Mwah.